Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this session we're going to see how to find the latest data from the file storage. So let's get started. So first of all, I would uh, suggest you to go to my channel and uh, watch the previous videos if you haven't watched. So what you want to do, you just have to do, go to the playlist section and you can see a uh, multiple playlist uh, present here like Spark, SQL interviews, Snowflake, Go language, NumPy and all. So if you click on the Spark, then we have around 24 videos uh, uploaded here. Okay, you can see one by one. Okay, and if you have any doubt, you can comment in, in the section, in, in the comment section and uh, let me know, then I will reply on top of it. So, okay, that's it. So we will go in the today session. Okay, what we gonna do? So this is so okay. First, I would like to tell you what we will do, and you know what is our problem statement. So if I go to the com data section here, and if I go to the create table section and DBFS, then you can see we have these many folders present here. If I go to the user high warehouse section. And then you can see we have one table called dummy data new, or we can say a folder or a table. We can say a table only. So right now you can see we have a file present in the in the part in the form of in the I mean in the partition by year. Okay, you can see year 2021, sorry 2011, 2012, 13, 14, and till 20. And we have a delta log since this is the delta delta file okay and if i go inside and into it then you can see we have a part two part files okay and for 2012 we have two and so on so now what we want to do we have to write a code in such a way that that like whenever we will uh, you know whenever we will fetch the data we will get only the latest year data not the whole data so Suppose here 2021 and 20, 2011 and 2012, right? And if like if we have only two, if we have only two folders present here, and if we want to fetch the latest data, then only 2012 data should come in our target table or maybe in the target folder. Okay, so how would we do it? So go to my notebook. Okay, first of all, what I would do, I would copy this and paste it over. Okay, copy over here, and then I would go here in the Python section and then open it. I will paste it over here. If I do a dbutils.fs.ls, what is the list of the file, then you would see we have like eight to nine folder present in it okay now we have 2011 till 2012 2020 okay so uh, we want to write that uh, write the uh, logic in such a way then then in such a way that you know 2020 data will 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 be picked up automatically whenever this job will run so here what i will do i will create a function so in order to get a function i have to write a def then give a def and then I'll give the function name get latest file okay and then here i will pass a parameter called path could be anything dbfs path adls path s3 bucket path anything else okay so here what i would do i will list of file create one variable and then I will use dbutils and then inside this I will pass, write the pass, path okay and what I will do right uh, I will do here is I will write for i in list of file okay and here latest latest file okay and here i will what do i will write dot 
i dot name because you can see here we have a path property name property and size and modification but what i want i want name property now for now i want name property that's why i am writing here i dot name okay and i just return latest file and i will call this function in the next cell the path this right now we have dbfs year 2022 mm. you can see here right now uh, this output look like this we have year 2011 till 2020 and then we have a data log file so i want what i want to do i want to find the maximum value inside this list that is 2020 so i have to write a code but i don't want to include this data log file in any other uh, file i want only these folder here is equal to partition folder so in order to do this what i would do i will write a condition here that i dot name in not in this okay now if i do this now we will have only year folders present here now what i want to do now i want to concat or not contact i want to trim or you know split this year is equal to one part and i need only to like this integer value or the year value in order to do this what would i do i dot name dot split year is equal to take first parameter and then convert this into integer if i do this then we will have the integer list okay mm hmm okay i dot name integer now it should work See, we have 2011 till 2020 list list of integers okay now what i want to do i want to write a way so that you know only maximum number that is 2022 will get returned so what i will do i will write here simple max twenty twenty present but i need to return a full path okay i want to return a full path not only the value so there is two method one method method is this like we have a 2022 okay it's get returned so what i will do here i will keep like i will store this value in one of the one of the variable and then i will make a path like this like you know path is equal to this uh year is equal to then plus and then i will write like this and then path okay then i will do what i will do i will do this and uh, here i will uh, write the path there is a one way mm -hmm. okay no problem okay this is the first method this is bit lengthy process i would say the second way is this then i will make a tuple okay so pass i dot path also with this and if you do this then automatically if i remove this automatically will get the latest path Okay, now what I do, 
I store this value in one of the variable like uh, uh, path new and then and what would I do? And then pass this value in the dbutils.fs.ls path. So this process is a bit, bit uh, faster. Okay. Now, if, if you want to read the data, then what would we do? Simple df is equal to spark dot read dot allocate Format is equal to delta load path underscore new. I do cancel once one more and time one more time and I run it once more. Let's see. Now it should work. See, you can see here like only the latest data has been come up year 2022 2020 and industry like uh, industry these and industry code and value is okay so this is the way to find out the latest uh, data from the file or from a table without writing a sql query so you know we can what what we can do we can write a select star from this where where the year is equal to select max year like that we can do okay but that process will take a lot of time if the data is very huge so uh, now what i am going to do i am removing i am going to remove uh, 2022 2020 path okay and then if we run this query i mean if we run that uh, function then 2019 should come okay so if i run this and if i for the better understanding if I print path new then we'll see twenty nineteen will pop up and now we have a data of twenty nineteen year only. Okay, so this is a way to find out the latest partition we can say or latest data from the table. So this is a one way, okay, and like we could be the many ways we have it, but you know you have to go and check what are the uh, possibilities present there, okay. And that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like, do subscribe and share. Bye bye.